For all episodes and more information, please visit us at MarriedMillions.com. Successor Jeff Mosquito uh, will be assuming um, the chairmanship of the number one chapter in the United States. We're very, very proud of that uh, award. And our goal in life is to uh, help people help themselves with a volunteer arm, resource arm, the Small Business Administration, created by an act of Congress in 1964 to be able to mentor and coach individuals. And the concept back then, SCORE acronym stood for Service Corps of Retired Executives. That is not who we are today. We're called um, America's Counselor to Small Businesses. And the reason for that is many of us, present company included, currently uh, still have our own business. And as we try to share with people, we don't want folks to make the same mistakes that we made as we went and built our companies. Our services are free. We have an opportunity to meet with people, listen and understand what their wants and needs are, make suggestions, and hopefully over a long period of time, it's not just one session, we develop a relationship and become a true mentor and coach to uh, folks that are in business, those that are considering going into business. And it's very important for people to understand that, that the failure rate for startups exceeds 90% within the first five years. And if we can alleviate that horrendous figure or save people time, money, and effort so they better understand what they need to go into business, then we're meeting our goals and objectives. My name is Jeff Mosquita. I am retired, uh, and we, um, our focus is the client, and making sure we have a, whether the counselor is getting counseling here in Atlanta or in San Diego, California, it is the same process. We have a five-step process that we use to find out what the client's needs are, ask a lot of questions, do a lot of listening, and try to get them to the next step. We don't do anything for them other than providing the tools that the client needs in order to become successful. And as Steve said, it's not a one-time process. Steve has a client now uh, seven years, I guess, that they've been coming back and they meet regularly. And as they, uh, they need a sounding block, they come to Steve and they, they talk. I have the same thing with clients. Uh, had two phone calls this morning dealing with clients that I've been working with for a while. So the key factor is, and people need to understand that SCORE is here to listen and then provide the tools they need to go to the next step. This chapter, Atlanta, covers a huge uh, geography. We go as far as the, the Canadian border, oh, excuse me, Canadian, the uh, Tennessee border, as far west as almost to the border of uh, Alabama, south to Warner Robins, and east to Conyers. At most of our offices, that encounters about 13 offices. At most of the offices, our clients call and set an appointment. This office at 233 Peachtree is open five days a week, and we see clients starting at 10 in the morning and we'll, we'll take our last client at one in the afternoon. We also do lots of workshops here. Uh, that is the only thing we charge for and it's a minimal charge. And we cover a myriad of uh, subjects. We do about 100 workshops a year. 
and we also do one almost every week that's an introduction into business. We do those once a week and they're free. And if people will go to our website, which is scoreatlanta.org, and just go through it and search through, you'll find out all kinds of information. Our organization, uh, National, has lots of information as well, and that's score.org, and you will find lots of information on various topics to help you to the next step. Um, in the organization that um, uh, you're part of, uh, understanding you know that two people uh, are married, you know, one has one idea, one has another idea, come on and see a SCORE counselor and let them help you to the next step. On a global uh, outlook, we have 387 chapters in the United States. Uh, we've been asked to uh, open uh, internationally. We don't do that. Our funding uh, comes from the United States Department of Commerce through the Small Business Administration. We're very, very proud to say we are the least funded nonprofit in the universe. We get a total of $5 million to operate 387 chapters, 10,500 volunteers, and interacting with something close to a million clients annually. In the Atlanta area, uh, we interacted with 12,000 people last year and through all sorts of venues that Jeff had shared with. Um, and through the total of $5 million, of which we get $36,000, we get an opportunity to, to operate um, and, and meet with over 12,000 people. We're pretty proud of that. But we're entrepreneurs. We understand the challenges, the frustrations, and the opportunities, and we encourage people to utilize our, our services. We have, um, SCORE has been around since 1964. What absolutely amazes me is one of the questions that we ask clients is, what do you know about SCORE? And 90% of them have heard the name, but they really don't understand who we are, what we are. There's a relationship, they think, with the Small Business Administration, and it is an outstanding partnership, but don't understand the intricacies. What we found to be incredible in terms of the tremendous growth that we are experiencing as an organization, even in the undeclared recessionary times that we're in today is the partnerships that we have uh, developed with companies like American Express. Uh, we had uh, speed counseling, which was done nationwide. Five uh, communities were, uh, were chosen, Atlanta being one of them. Uh, we sold out in the first uh, 16 hours that we publicized it, one of the only ones in the United States. We're going to do it again for uh, next year. We, are in a, uh, we did a partnership with UBS, uh, Hewlett Packard HP. We're uh, involved with locally with Accord and Blue, which, was a, which is a technical school that is here. We have satellite locations, and our biggest partners uh, re and resource partners are Chambers of Commerce. Just prior to having opportunity to uh, meet and uh, talk with you today, we had uh, the Forsyth uh, County Chamber of Commerce come in and ask how we can work together. And if you go on our website, scorelana.org, you will see of our 13 satellites, I think it's 10 now, that are uh, affiliated with Chambers of Commerce. We are branding, and we really look forward to utilizing in the business community today many of the resources. We have another one, Small Business Development Centers, which does comparable and similar things to what we do. They're domiciled on uh, local university campuses, and um, they have their, 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 their particular uh, outreach and outlook to work with existing businesses take them to the next step, uh, utilizing the university system as a good catalyst and, and resource. But with our 87 volunteers that we have in our area, and SBDC's dozen, the most important thing out there is the wants and needs of our business community at large far exceeds, okay, what our typical resources are. So we share with everybody, um, the, both professional and volunteers, to try to meet the need of the uh, small business community.